Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. Today's statue is going to be focusing on a character that as soon as he entered the series, nothing but destruction. Domo! What the? Devastation. Fear. Who am I kidding? This character was a complete joke from the moment he came into the show. I was thinking, what the heck? How did this character even land into the Akatsuki? What kind of abilities does he have that puts him on par with some of the other people that we know in the organization? But little did we know there was a puppet behind the puppet pulling the strings for this whole thing. What I love about this statue is it, it captures the goofiness of this character in this season before he kind of evolves to something very different in the show that we know later on. Without delay, let's go ahead and jump on in and take a look at this goofy statue. Cut! As seen on the front, the studio that made this statue is Original Intention. This is my first statue in hand from them. I know they do some Dragon Ball Z statues as well as One Piece, but this is about one of two statues I think they've done for Naruto. The packaging is made up from some softer foam, which I prefer the harder foam because there's less chances for things to break. It's more firmly kept together. Unfortunately, the statue did come with two breakages on there that were easily repairable, thank goodness, with some super glue. The studio did do a good job at separating some of the more fragile pieces so that you can put that together separately. With the box out of the way, we'll go ahead and take a look at the base. Not too much going on down here, as if anybody cares, because you don't really see the light of day after this point. As for the diorama on top of the base, it has some nice weight to it that allows there to be a good balance uh, when having the character on the front, as well as the explosions in the back. Nice red trimmer on the circular base, which most people seem to use for the Akatsuki lines. I love all the bombs sculpted on the side as well as all the debris shooting off of the explosion. All throughout it you will see some cavities and little craters in there where some of the effects will later be inserted and installed for the rest of the statue. Incoming some extra debris particles that they sculpted separately. No joke, these things remind me of little Cheetos, that snack I used to have when I was a kid. I will mention this piece I'm putting on right here, I actually put on the wrong way, which later on in the video I will correct. These are some of the clear resin particle effects that they sculpted separately. These are the smaller ones that go towards the middle and top of the base. These are the larger effect pieces that actually remind me of some of those Bandai effects that you can buy that you can put alongside figures that overall enhance their display. The shading all throughout these pieces are great looking with kind of a solid orange look to more of a clear yellow and then just plain clear on the top. The statue came with two of Datera's bombs sculpted separately. One will be used kind of right below his feet area and another he'll hold. The little notch was sculpted separately because one of Toby's foot would rub against it. This keeps it from actually rubbing paint off. I have to say this would be a difficult head sculpt to screw up, but they did a great job with it. Paint job is really clean, slick. If you look all along the mask, there's some cracks and it's very difficult to see inside of his eye, but there is a nice shot and gun painted in there. The head fits right on top of the body and snaps into place with a magnet. As you may notice, when we take a closer look, his Akatsuki cloak is actually more of a dark, deep red compared to the standard black that we normally see on all members. Great idea to make it that shade because of all the explosions going around him. On the bottom, he does have a steel rod inserted in the foot that helps him attach to the base. You'll see his arm looks a tad odd because it's a little circular. That is because a bomb will later on rest in there. It does look a bit unnatural, but it will look perfect once we get that fit in there. I do love Toby's hand being up in the air. It adds that goofiness to it, which captures his personality perfect for this part of the show.
at first when unpackaging this, I kind of thought they gave you an extra bomb for free, but I noticed a little magnet on there and then saw his arm the way it was formed and thought, hey, it's probably just gonna fit right in there. Nicely, it just boom, pops in. The addition size plate that it came with is just a steel plate inside of an acrylic case. Coming in at 61 out of only 200 made. With everything put together, let's go ahead and see him side by side with my HMB Datara. I will mention I have this Datara for sale. If anybody is interested, go ahead and hit me up. As you can see here, these two look absolutely perfect for each other, sitting side by side. I got this one a few years ago when I sold my Tsume Datara because that thing, the value of it shot up. And so I sold that off and used like, I don't know, a third of the money to pick him up. I really appreciate the size of this statue because it's a perfect accent statue. It doesn't need a giant diorama. It's something that can just sit side by side like this and just enhances both characters standing together. In the future, Toby or Obito is going to have a lot of different forms, possibly different statues that come out. I'm happy to call this one my masterpiece for him when he was in the Akatsuki and kind of had that goofy personality. Did want to share a picture that I took of the statues together. This one almost looks like Toby is bursting right out of the ground with Datara in the background, like when he fought Sasuke. Well, that about wraps things up. I'm so glad to have been able to add this statue to my collection. Seriously, everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the support that you are giving me. This has been an incredible week, almost a double subscriber growth. The road to 5K is getting closer and closer. I look forward to 2020, spending it with everybody, enjoying as your collection grows, as you get into collecting. Any questions you have, I'm always here. I love engaging with everybody, and it makes it so joyful to be a part of this community. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. We're gonna have a great year together and I don't want you to miss any statue unboxings as they come out. As always, everybody, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.